All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to build a sequential switch uh, using the new bump scanner unit in uh, 0.3 of the ER301 firmware. <clears throat> so um, I guess first we're going to talk a little bit uh, about uh, some scary math, which isn't so bad. Um, so we've got this bump scanner unit, and what we can cause it to do um, is to output um, basically either a, um, a 0 or uh, a one voltage um, when we send it certain voltages in, um, right? So um, we either have a basically a low or a high voltage um, <clears throat> depending on the input. And what we want to do is kind of cause this to, to trigger, um, you know, at the, at the correct spots um, so that we can get a switching kind of effect. Um, so let's make some, a couple assumptions here. Um, so we've got, um, we've got some kind of an input coming in And I'm just going to use an external offset for this, um, but um, let's just kind of make some assumptions about our input. So um, in, in my case, I'm, I'm just going to assume that that's going to be uh, between 0 and 1, right? So our input signal will vary from 0 to 1. We're going to kind of control that as it goes into the bump scanner, and we're not going to use any negative voltages going in here. Um, so that's kind of the first piece. Um, and essentially what we want to do is um, set up our windows on the bump scanner unit um, correctly so that um, it'll kind of divide um, uh, divide evenly amongst this uh, voltage that's coming in between 0 and 1. Um, so we've got this kind of voltage range. We know we're going to go between 0 and 1. And what we want to do is set up a window then. Um, I'm going to make a, a three-step switch um, with uh, kind of three switches in it. So we're going to take uh, some windows here. Um, so basically, we want uh, each window to be um, a third of that, right? So a window width of 0 0.33 across the board. So they'll all be kind of even width, one third of the possible incoming voltage range. So we've got that, um, and now we just kind of need to figure out um, what the centers are going to be, right? Um, so the centers are going to be um, in the middle. Um, so if we take 0 0.333, and we divide that by 2, um, we end up with 0 0.166, roughly, um, rounded. Um, so we know, um, kind of half of that, if we go in here, we know that our first midpoint is going to be at 0 0.3. 166. And if we take 0.166 and add 0 0.033 to it, um, we're going to get 0 0.5. So that would be kind of our second center point. And if we take 0 0.5 and add 0 0.333 to it once again, um, we're going to end up with our third center point, which is going to be 0 0.833. Um, so we kind of got our windows defined here. So we know that... Um, you know, our width is going to be equal to 0 0.333. Uh, we know we're going to have um, three different centers at 0 0.166 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.833. And then we also know our height, because we wanted that um, to go between 0 and 1 up here, we know that our height is just going to be equal to uh, 1. So I think we've got all the values here. Um, if this were going to be, you know, a four-step switch, the math might work out a little bit nicer. I thought I would show it with, um, you know, something kind of less nice um, with a, a three-step switch. So I think we've got all the values we need. Um, let's go build it and show how to um, actually set this up in the ER301. All right, so with the math out of the way, let's talk about building this voltage controlled switch using the uh, bump scanner unit. Okay, so um, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, insert a mixer channel here. Um, we're just gonna switch between three different sound sources on the mixer channel. I'll just go ahead and turn the, the gain down just a little bit. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna put a sound source and to keep this simple, I'm just gonna use sine oscillators. Um, Set this first one to an A at um, <clears throat> 110. I verified it's making noise here, so <clears throat> for now I'll just go ahead and hit um, shift in my channel and that'll mute the whole channel out, that way we won't have to listen to it. And the other thing I want to do is um, come over here and put a linear VCA on the end of it. Um, 
So we'll control this using the bump scanner unit. Um, I want to set this up for it to be controlled by an external void source, so I'm going to use A1 here. Um, so I've got this connected up to uh, my frames, and uh, you can see just like we talked about in the mathy part, I'm sending a, uh, a signal in that goes from 0 to 1, um, <clears throat> and that covers the entire range of my uh, 0 to 10 volt uh, frames output. All right, so let's come in here and we'll put um, the bump scanner unit on this. And um, just like we talked about, we want the width to be set at, switch over to fine mode here, 0.33. Um, we'll go ahead and set the height to one. Um, we're gonna set the spade to be zero because we just want this to be kind of a square window um, without any cross fading on either side of it. Um, and then the only thing left here is the center, which for the first one we talked about this being at uh, point, point 0.166. All right, so let's just take a look at um, what this does. Um, I can't really show you the frames very easily, but it's, it's at zero volts right now, and uh, you can see we're getting a, a high output here. As I move this up, uh, my external source, my frames here, as I move this up just about, you know, uh, uh, past the one-third mark, we should see that voltage drop down to zero. And if I turn it just below the one-third mark, uh, it pops back up to one. So, um, only thing left to do now, um, we know we've got a one here, so we're just gonna set the gain on this VCA to also be unity uh, one. All right, and then uh, as I turn the switch from uh, zero to about a third of the way up, we'll see that this is on. Uh, and as soon as I move it up past that, it kicks the VCA off so we won't hear it anymore. All right, so um, let's go make the other two switches. Uh, to do that, I'm just gonna hold down my shift key and just come over here and we'll make copy and I'm just gonna paste it uh, twice and then we'll just go in and make a couple little tweaks here so we'll go into the, the second output um, I'm gonna double the frequency on this and make it a 220 so we'll go a an octave up and if I come into this VCA uh, we're already set to a1 the only thing I really need to do here is to move the center the height and uh, width and crossfader already set correctly. So we talked about this one needing to be set at uh, 0.5. And then we'll come back up and for the third mixer, um, come back over here, we'll, we'll double this yet again and we'll put this at an A440. So now we've got three octaves of A's. And then coming back into the scanner unit, we'll just change the center on this. And I think we said that was point, um, 0.833, I think. Gosh, I hope that was right. We'll find out. Um, so we'll set the center there. All right. And um, I guess just kind of see what happens here. Um, we'll come back up to the top. Um, and we'll go ahead and turn the sound back on. And what I expect to happen is I sweep from zero to 10 volts on the frames. Um, these three octaves of A's at the one third point and the two third point will kind of switch between them. So there you have it. That's uh, how to set up um, a three-step uh, switch using the bump scanner unit. Hope you enjoyed.